Morning, everyone. Welcome back to the homestead. So we just had that tropical depression or the remnants of the tropical depression. Uh, I think it was called Delta down in Louisiana. Ah, that's four people. It's like twice in a row. Um, the remnants just rolled through here and it just dumped rain for like 48 hours. It was also the opening weekend of hunting season. I did manage to get out there and get in the blind, um, but it's just with the weather being so warm and the pounding rain, it just wasn't an optimal situation for hunting. gonna have to take a detour and pause from working on the uh, coop today because it's soaking wet along with everything else around here including the goat pen which we gotta go take care of right now so the goat pen was an absolute disaster the hay was soaked full of gnats started growing mold the tarp that I have on top of there was a temporary solution to keep their hay dry but with all the rain that we had it just filled up completely and collapsed so all their hay got soaked so um that's gonna be a future video. I think we're gonna come up with a, some type of roof for the hay feeder for now. Uh, their house was just disgusting. When they're in there for 24 to 48 hours in pouring rain, all they do is poop in there. So it's just got really, really gross. But we're composting it today. <laughs> So guys, I'm here in our temporary hay storage tent slash overflow area. And um, we got a little problem because of all the humidity in here. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's just gnats gathering by the gabillions on the top of this thing. My thought is maybe a little solar powered fan or something just in the top by the, by the peak. Maybe get some air movement in here. Um, I don't know, what are your thoughts? All right guys, now that our chores are done, I think what we're gonna do today, or my plan anyway, is this chick brooder right here that we built in another video been on my porch since we've had the chicks. I built it specifically with no floor so that I can go out on pasture. And quite frankly, they stink and they need to leave my porch. What I'm thinking is we're gonna get some handles mounted on this thing today. I'm gonna get each of the chick. I'm gonna get my kids involved. We'll grab each chick. And they're almost full-size chickens now, some of them. We'll take each chicken and put them in, um, I think we'll set up the dog's pen out on the grass. And these big foldable pens. We'll set that up on the grass, we'll take the chicks, we'll put them in the pen, put a little piece of wood over it so they don't fly out. We'll mount the handles on this box and we'll get the box out on pasture and then we will transfer the chickens back into their new home. Once we lift the box off of the tarp, the tarp will, you know, still has all the bedding and the poop and paint on. We usually just clean it out and compost it. Now we'll just grab the whole tarp and bring it over to the compost bin and dump it in there that way so we don't have to worry about shoveling it wheeling it over there. So these are the handles that I wound up picking up. Let's go ahead and get them mounted up. So instinct says you always want to mount things up here, but in reality, I think what I'm gonna do is mount them lower, kind of towards the middle because uh, it'll make it for easier transport. So you're not banging your knees into it and walking like a penguin.
All right, it's time. Let's get these chickens moved. All right, so that's the temporary holding facility, or at least the plan for now. Yeah, a little bit of a gap here. They might be able to fly out, but we'll chance it. Get back. Again? Are you kidding me? All right, it's a whole new world, guys. You again? Get down from there. Come on. You gotta be kidding me with this thing. Listen, show yourself on camera, all right? So you can be embarrassed. Everyone knows your face. You're the one who always wants to fly out. That's right, you. All right? Get back in there. Wipe it on the porch. <laughs> now you gotta clean it. This keeps them in for a little bit while we get that box out on pasture. You gotta be right under it. <laughs> Okay, so they're all in a new home on grass. Everyone seems to be liking it. Finding bugs and stuff for the first time ever. And pretty happy about it. So what I think I wanna do though is I'm gonna move some of these bars that I have to hang their feeders in water because I need to put some type of um, cover over at least half of this so that when it rains, they have some place to see cover. Um, and I think that this bar is too close to the side to hang a feeder. Unless I hang one in the corner and move the water over to this corner so they're kind of diagonally apart. And I'll just put a piece of wood over the top of this. And we could just leave that bar there for stability. Man, you guys are going to town on that grass, aren't you? So I wanted to take a second and show you guys something that I made a while ago for chicks to drink out of when they're really small. Okay, so this is just a simple chick water that I made. And I'll tell you why I think it's so great. All these parts, with the exception of the cups, can be had at your local hardware store or Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever, um, very inexpensively. In fact, you can even find these pieces of pipe pre-cut in two foot sections um, and all the fittings. So what I like about it is that it's small, it's compact, it fits in um, small spaces, easy to transport or carry around, it stands up on its own. Um, but the really cool part about it is that being chicks, you kind of already exposing them to these types of waterers and you don't have to use these. You can use the little nipples if you want or your favorite type of um, attachment. That's fine. You don't have to stick with these. 
but you fill it up, it lasts a couple days, and then I came up with just these two elbows here and a piece of vinyl tubing. And as you fill it, it's kind of a level indicator. You can see how much water you have in there. You can see how much they drank when it goes down, when it needs to be replaced. It'll give you a little demonstration. Place your cap, twist it on, and that's it. Now the other bell style waters are fine. We use them, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. If you notice, the, the chicks will kick the bedding around and they'll get poo in the water and you have to keep constantly keep changing it out. Um, really multiple times a day, at least once a day. You don't want them drinking all that water that's just been inundated with their own poo. It's kind of gross. Um, but with these, you know, the little cups, they, um, they don't get filled up with anything and you can leave this for two or three days without having to change the water. Um, it's just my own convention, if you will. I'm sure I'm not the first person to think of it, um, but I might be the first person to think of the level indicator. That was kind of a nifty trick to it. Um, give it a try, guys. It was a few bucks in parts. It wasn't expensive at all. It took me an hour to put together and it really works great. All right, guys, we got that all taken care of. I think that's gonna do it for this video. It's starting to clear up now. We got some blue skies up ahead. It's looking pretty out. Everything should start drying up and we're gonna get back to work on that chicken coop. So um, please like and subscribe if you get a chance. I'd really appreciate it. It helps us out. It means a lot to us. Um, big shout out again to Evan and Rebecca, Country View Acres. Thank you so much for all that you did for us. I really appreciate it. You guys are great. If you did happen to stumble on my channel and you didn't come here from that channel, go check out Country View Acres, please. They're a phenomenal channel. Uh, husband and wife, really organic, not a clickbaity YouTube type of channel. Good people, good stuff, good content. Go check them out. Don't forget to tune in next time. We're gonna get going on our chicken coop again. We should, uh, I think, start working on the roof is my plan. Um, just because, you know what, if we get another rain storm or whatever, I wanna keep it protected from getting soaked again. So don't forget to come on back, check us out for the next uh, installment of the build series on our mobile chicken coop. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.